Hi, welcome to Faith and Bible ASMR. Thank you for sharing my birthday with me today. We're going to be looking at verses on anxiety and fear and peace from God today. If you are new to this channel, I'd love it if you subscribed. I try to do faith-related videos that will encourage you in your faith and help you grow in Him. I wanted to share these with you because they are verses that I wrote down in a journal that are verses that mean a lot to me and I picked out versions that especially spoke to me and I did this a couple years ago and so I wanted to share these with you and if you want to write them down or listen to this video several times they are ones that are verses we can cling to in times when we need them, you guys. And I hope they do that for you. Um, so let's dive in. Isaiah 41 verse 10 says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. In the message paraphrase, it says, Don't panic. I'm with you. There's no need to fear, for I'm your God. I'll give you strength. I'll help you. I'll hold you steady and keep a firm grip on you. 2 Timothy 1.7 says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. 1 Peter 5, 7 says, Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares for you. Cast your cares on Him, for He cares for you, is what the New International Version says. Just throw them away. Psalm 94, 19 says, When my anxious inner thoughts become overwhelming, your comfort encourages me. I love that. He is there for us. Second Thessalonians 3.16 says, Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with all of you. John 14, 27 says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Isaiah 26, 3 says, You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, whose thoughts are fixed on you. And verse 4 says, Trust in the Lord always, for the Lord God is the eternal rock. Isaiah 40 verses 28, 30, and 31 says, Have you never heard? Have you never understood? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of all the earth. He never grows weak or weary. No one can measure the depths of his understanding. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. But those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. They will soar high on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. Psalm 46, 1 says, God is our refuge and strength, always ready to help in times of trouble. I love that. Matthew 6, 34 says, Therefore do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. And that's for sure, right? We don't need to borrow from tomorrow troubles. Um, Psalm eighteen nineteen says, He brought me into a spacious place. 
He rescued me because he delighted in me. Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Psalm 56.3 says, When I am afraid, I will put my trust and faith in you. And what's the verb there? Put. We need to put it in him, don't we? We need to make an effort to change it over to his hands. 1 Samuel 30 verse 6 says, And David was greatly distressed because the people spoke of stoning him, for all the people were embittered, each one because of his sons and daughters. But David strengthened himself in the Lord his God. And the story there is that David had taken his men to fight, and while he was gone, their enemy came and took their wives and their children, and there was nothing left when they came back. And the men were so upset with David, they were talking about stoning him. And it says that they cried until they couldn't cry anymore. And David was, of course, grieved too because his wife was among them and and he lost everything as well. But he strengthened himself in the Lord his God. He turned to the Lord. He let the Lord handle it. He reminded himself who God was and that God could handle it. And you know what happened? The Lord blessed them and there, they they got back their wives and their children. And he also added to what they already owned. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not on thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. And we can do that, can't we? We can trust in the Lord and not lean on our own understand. Realize that he is God and we are not. Isaiah 26.3 says, You will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. So if we keep our thoughts fixed on him, he will keep us in perfect peace. Right? If we focus on him instead of the problems, Matthew eleven twenty-eight 28 to 30 says, Come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. 2 Timothy 1, 7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Aren't those things precious? Aren't those just wonderful? And I also want to share a few verses here about what we think about. And these are ones that I wrote down as well. Because our battle of fear starts in our mind, doesn't it? Um, And that's where we can conquer our fears as well. Uh, so let's let's look at these verses. Romans 12, 2 says, Don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will know what God wants you to do, and you will know how good and pleasing and perfect His will really is. Romans 12.21 says, Take every thought captive and make it obedient to Christ. Um, I remember going through a Bible study one time and she was talking about that verse and how we need to look at the thoughts we have and decide if we want to let them in. Not just run with them and circle around with them, but really think about them. Is this true? Is this a true thought or is this something Satan's bringing to mind and it's a lie? So 
is this something God would bring to mind? Or is it something that Satan would bring to mind? And so often we don't take the time to think about that. We just let our minds go or we just dwell on things that are not helpful to us. Ephesians 4, 23 and 24 says, There must be a spiritual renewal of your thoughts and attitudes. You must display a new nature because you are a new person created in God's likeness, righteous, holy, and true. And Philippians 4, 8 says, Whatever is true, Whatever is noble, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. The things that are good to think about, that is an excellent verse you guys to look at often and to memorize just reminding us that the first thing we should ask when a thought comes to mind that we're dwelling on is, is this true? Is this something that God would bring to my mind or is this something that Satan would bring? And refocus our thoughts on him if it's not helpful to us. I hope these help you, my friend. I just want to um, teach you a song really quick. <clears throat> it is a simple song, so it's one that I hope you can remember. I know many of you struggle with fear and anxiety, as I have. When you have anxieties and fears, I hope you think about this song. I do. I cast all my cares upon you. I lay all of my burdens down at your feet. And any time that I don't know what to do, I will cast all my cares upon you. I cast all my cares upon you. I lay all of my burdens down at your feet. And any time that I don't know what to do, I will cast all my cares upon you. I hope you remember that when you're tempted to focus on anxiety, remember to cast them on him. Um, so I'm just going to close us in prayer. So let's pray. Dear Lord, thank you. Thank you that you love us. Thank you that you will help us with our problems that we don't have to dwell in anxiety, that we can take them to you, that we can remember that you are always with us to the end of the world. You have promised us that. Lord, thank you for that. It is a precious promise. Thank you that you will help us with fears and anxieties if we give them to you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I really care about you guys. I pray for you. I'm thankful for you. You are a blessing to me. Bye.